Hey everyone, it's Rek here and in this video I will show you how to boost FPS in Valorant. We are going to optimize your PC and the game itself to get the maximum performance and as low input delay as possible using various optimizations and tweaks. Valorant is actually a more CPU reliant game so most of your performance in Valorant depends on the CPU and how well it is optimized. Therefore we are gonna focus more on optimizing our CPU to the best we can. This is a complete guide on how you can get more FPS in Valorant and if you find it helpful then make sure to share it with others who might need it as well and without any further ado let's get straight into today's video so the very first thing that we're gonna be doing is disabling the full screen optimizations on valorant so that we can play it in exclusive full screen giving us more fps as well as lower input delay so in order to do that go ahead and open up the directory where you have installed valorant for me it's inside of my games folder in my d drive then into the riot games valorant live shooter game binaries win64 and then scroll all the way down till you guys can find this valorant win64 shipping.exe once you find this just right click on it click on properties then go ahead and open up the compatibility tab and then go ahead and check the disable full screen optimizations also click on change high dpi settings override high dpi scaling behavior and set this to application hit ok hit ok once again and that's it now we have successfully disabled the full screen optimizations on valorant next we are going to be optimizing some of the windows settings that will tremendously help you with the overall working of your cpu and hence the game so yeah go ahead and open up the windows settings through the start menu once these opens up go into the apps and first of all go into startup just make sure that anything that you don't want to boot up with your pc go ahead and turn it off for me i have turned off everything except for the vanguard ray notification because it is required to play valorant so anything other than this i would highly recommend you to just go ahead and turn it off from here and that's it now go back to home go into the gaming section and inside of here just make sure that the game power is turned off go into game mode make sure that game mode is turned on then go into the graphic settings under these related settings go ahead and select the desktop app click on browse and once again we will need to go into the drive where you have installed valorant for me it's d games then riot games valorant live shooter game binaries win64 and then go ahead and select this story exe once again click on add then click on options and set this to high performance hit save and now we can go back to home go into the privacy settings scroll all the way down to background apps and just make sure that this is turned off because if it is turned on it will allow these apps to run in the background even when they are closed hence eating up the cpu resources which are really crucial for playing games like valorant so go back to home once again go into the update and security then just go ahead and update your windows and pause it for the maximum amount of duration because we don't want windows to be updating while we're playing the game causing high ping as well as lower performance so just go ahead and update it and then go and pause it for the maximum duration Alrighty, so once you're done with the Windows updates, go into the delivery optimizations and just make sure that allow downloads from other PCs are turned off. And with that, we are done with all of the Windows settings and you should be seeing 5-10% to improvement in FPS and the overall performance of your PC just by doing those steps. But we're gonna move on to even more tweaks and settings that will tremendously help you getting the maximum performance out of your PC. So open up the start menu once again, go ahead and type in power, go into the edit power plan, click on this power options right here click on show additional plans and select the high performance this is going to make sure that you're getting the highest performance out of your power plan as it just says favors performance but may use more energy right now i am using my own custom power plan which is a lot better than even this high performance so if you guys want this then go ahead and join my discord server and you will find it there as for the rest of you just go ahead and click on high performance and that's it now you can close out of this all right so then we move on to the valorant fps pack 2022 by Recnetic. you can download it from my website by clicking on this thumbnail right here or you can go ahead and join my discord server to download it from there without viewing any ads so regardless of the method you choose once you have downloaded the pack right click on it go ahead and extract it using 7 zip window or whatever you want and once the pack is extracted go ahead and open it up open up this folder and inside of here you will find three folders registry optimizations batch optimizations and device cleanup we're gonna start with registry optimizations go ahead and open up the hibernate in windows enable or disable and just make sure to double click on the disable hibernate.reg hit yes hit ok this is just going to go ahead and disable the hibernation option in windows then go back go into the user account control enable or disable this is not going to help you with fps or performance instead it will just go ahead and make it so that you can use all of the tweaks inside of this video so go ahead and double click on disable user account control.reg hit yes hit ok now go back into the pack once again and double click on the 26 hex.reg hit yes hit ok and this is going to apply the 26 hex 
likes win 32 priority separation value which i would say for most of the people is the one that will work the best then go ahead and disable gpu energy driver hit yes hit ok disable power throttling hit yes hit ok then exclusive full screen dot trash once again this is going to make sure that we're playing the game inside of exclusive full screen so that we can get the maximum fps and as low input delay as possible then fix mouse delay this is going to help you with the mouse input delay then there is the valorant high priority now before applying this i also want to tell you guys that for some people valorant on normal priority may work better but for most of the people valorant on high priority will actually work better in case you guys want to change this to normal priority just go ahead and right click on it click on edit and change this three to two that's all you guys would need to do in order to go ahead and set this to normal priority however we're gonna go ahead and apply the valorant high priority hit yes hit okay and this should work completely fine for majority of the people and now we are done with the registry optimizations go back into the pack and open up the batch optimizations the first thing that we are going to be doing is cleaning up the temporary files so right click on it run it as administrator press any key to continue and we are done we have successfully deleted all of the temp files from our computer and then we're going to go ahead and disable process mitigations right click run it as administrator and then just go ahead and let it do its work once it's done press any key to continue and it closes down go back into the pack once more open up device cleanup right click on the device cleanup.exe and run it as administrator these are all the devices that had been previously connected to your computer and are no longer there as you guys can see from the last use days right here so what you guys would need to do is press ctrl and hit a to select all and then press delete to delete all of these devices and that's it that's all you guys would need to do and we are done now you can go ahead and delete this pack if you want and keep it if you want it's really up to you all right so next we move on to optimizing our gpus so that we can get the maximum performance out of them as well so the very first thing that i would recommend is updating your drivers to the latest so in case you are using an nvidia gpu just just go down into the description of this video and you will find the link to this website go ahead and select your graphics card click on search then just go ahead and download the latest driver from there in case you are using an amd gpu then go on to this website also found in the description go ahead and select your graphics card and then go ahead and click on submit select your windows then just go ahead and download the latest one from there if you guys want to know how to completely clean install drivers then go ahead and watch this video i will link it down in the description so make sure to go ahead and watch this because this shows the complete method for how to properly install your nvidia drivers to get the maximum performance amd users can also use this but they're gonna have to change a couple of things here and there for the amd users you can just go ahead and search it up on google the best settings for amd control panel or you can go ahead and watch this video right here but as i haven't updated it in quite a while i would still recommend you guys to go on to google and search the best amd control panel settings for 2022 as for the nvidia users i'm gonna show you guys right here so right click on your desktop and open up the nvidia control panel once this opens up go into the adjust image settings with preview go ahead and select use my preference emphasizing then just go ahead and set this to performance then go ahead and select use the advanced 3d image settings hit apply once done click on take me there and then just go ahead and copy my settings so i'm gonna go ahead and briefly guide you through all of these all of the nt aliasing and the ambient occlusion i have turned them off for image scaling i have turned it on for fortnite however for valorant i would just go ahead and turn it off as well then as for the cuda gpus i have selected all that is my graphics card so hit ok on that then for the low latency mode i have set it to ultra then the opal gl rendering gpu i have set it to my own gpu that is a gtx 750 ti power management mode prefer maximum performance then for the shader cache size it's drivers default texture filtering anisotropic sample option on texture filtering negative load bias allow texture filtering quality high performance then trilinear optimizations on threaded optimizations on as well triple buffering off vertical sync off and vr pre-rendered frames one so once you have copied all of these you can pause the video and copy all of these settings just go ahead and hit apply now that these settings have been applied go into change resolution and just make sure that you have the highest refresh rate set available to your display then go ahead and click on the adjust desktop color settings and here you can just go ahead and increase the vibrance to improve the colors of your display and your games for me i have personally set it to 60 percent normally it's on 50 percent but it's really a personal preference so once you're done with all of this just go ahead and hit apply hit yes and then just go ahead and close out of the nvidia control panel i will also link other useful guides that will actually help you gaining more fps and lower 
scrolling the input delay in the description of this video so make sure to check those out also if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them in the comments so that i can reply to you and answer your questions there and if this video helps you then make sure to leave a like down below also guys if you want to get zero ping in any game you want then click on this video right here i know it says fortnite but it basically works for every single game out there because i show windows optimizations not game specific optimizations so yeah click on this one this one right here it will give you zero ping yes